saya dapat duduk uh, dan uh, mendengar sendiri uh, apa masalah dan uh, perkara yang timbul berhubung kait dengan uh, bantahan mereka berhubung, uh, mengenai isu uh, yang telah pun dah digebar-geburkan uh, dan diketahui ramai saya nak maklumkan di sini bahawa Alhamdulillah um, saya cukup gembira bila saya mendengar bahawa pantahan mereka tidak ada pertimbangan uh, politik langsung seperti ada kumpulan-kumpulan uh, tertentu yang membuat tuduhan um, memang saya sendiri telah menyatakan sebelum ini kawasan yang telah pun ditentukan oleh kerajaan negeri Selangor tak sesuai kerana majoriti uh, penduduk di situ merupakan orang Melayu uh, Islam dan mereka uh, telah uh, membuat bantahan tetapi bantahan mereka tak didengari dan uh, yang malangnya uh, memang betul uh, bila uh, kepala lembu digunakan memang cukup sensitif uh, dan mereka uh, yang mewakili penduduk menyatakan bahawa mereka tak berniat langsung tidak ada perancangan langsung untuk uh, menimbulkan uh, uh, dan membawa kepala lembu uh, sebagai satu perkara yang boleh mencetuskan sensitiviti kaum uh, dan uh, mewujudkan satu ketegangan kalau kita tidak mengambil tindakan yang bijaksana kalau sekiranya kita nak mengapi-ngapikan keadaan kalau sekiranya pertimbangan kita hanya kepada politik dan kalau saya nak menggunakan ianya sebagai satu isu yang boleh mencetuskan huru-hara di negeri Selangor boleh tetapi kita tidak mengambil tindakan sebegitu rupa dan akhirnya pihak-pihak yang waras yang yang bijaksana yang sayang kepada negaranya dapat meluahkan uh, protes mereka berhubung kait dengan lokasi uh, yang telah pun ditetapkan oleh kerajaan uh, negeri Selangor dan sekarang ni mereka boleh duduk bincang bersama mungkin mencari lokasi yang lebih sesuai uh, menjadikan satu keadaan yang menang-menang they don't even know um, the, the organizers who are sitting left and right of me that uh, somebody was going to bring uh, the head of the cow um, during that demonstration and there are, have been also cases where like I said earlier where pig heads have been used to uh, incite uh, racial anger and if everybody takes a, a decision that an eye for an eye um, is the way out then everybody will end up blind we have to investigate because I asked them um, they, they don't know who, who, who it was and this is what happens when you have protests of this nature in fact when they discussed about it they realized there will be a situation that where they may not be able to control So that is why when we are talking about uh, um, uh, assembly, the right to speak, the right to protest, um, in a country like ours, you have to always be um, sensitive to the fact that this right that everybody is talking about may just turn into a wrong where it will affect the right of the majority uh, to, to safety and, and it may raise sensitive issues and my hurt and slight Uh, those of other races and religion. So that is where um, when we do look at amendments, when we do give these extra rights of speech to assemble, to protest, to demonstrate, um, not to the extent that uh, it causes instability, uh, it affects the safety and the harmony of uh, Malaysian people who b the majority of them are very sensible and peace-loving people, as you can see from what they have been doing. Uh, in the last few days and to be honest with you um, I didn't know that they've been talking and only when I came from I, mean, I just came back from cabinet um, and they briefed me that they already I thought I was I wanted to go into more detail and see how I can assist them but they've already actually reached to some compromise already I congratulate them but it's not a big protest I mean in fact they were very they told me that they were very uh, respectful that the Sultan of Selangor was there In fact, they limited to, to the number of 10 people from the committee. In fact, if they wanted to have a bigger protest, they could have had. And they were conscious of that fact. This is exactly what I asked them. Uh, so um, what your, your concerns are um, were the exact questions which I, I, I posed to them just now. 
and they said they were very conscious. All that they wanted to do was to, to voice their uh, unhappiness. The very people who wants the ISA uh, to be uh, dimansuhkan, sekarang ni um, buat, buat kenyataan kata saya nak suruh tangkap dia orang ni dalam, dalam ISA. Logik ke tidak? Orang yang dulu ni nak mansuhkan ISA, sekarang ni bila jadi kepada mereka, dia kata kenapa tak ambil tindakan ISA terhadap mereka ni. Jadi, as a minister, how how are you going to um, uh, make a, a, a decision? Perkara yang menyulitkan sekarang ialah bila hujah-hujah uh, dan kenyataan-kenyataan dibuat dalam cyberspace, di dalam uh, internet. Uh, itulah sebabnya baru-baru ini saya dengan Datuk Rais, dengan Datuk Nazri telah pun duduk bersama uh, meminta pihak IGP, pihak Peguam Negara dan pihak MCMC Suhuran Jaya Multimedia untuk membantu supaya bila kita ambil tindakan nanti ada um, bukti dan uh, satu kes yang kukuh supaya bila dibawa ke mahkamah dia tak akan lepas daripada genggaman kita.